There was a lot of disappointment in regards to the reveal of the power broker in the MCU. Now the actress herself, Emily Von Camp, opens up on why it makes complete sense that Sharon was the power broker. I mean, I hope her answer is because it was the obvious one. I don't know though. Let's find out. In a recent interview with Marvel, Sharon Carter herself got to talk a lot about the idea of who the power broker was and how it was revealed to her. And first and foremost, she confirmed that when she signed on for the series, when they told her what was going to be happening, she didn't know all the details. They just told her, wait and see what happens. You're going to love this. It's great. And she admits that she was confused going into it because she only read one script at the time and it was only a fight scene so she had no idea what they were teasing what was going to be happening or which direction the character was heading in other than just wait and see and she says that if you look back on the series how they positioned it and what happens and the reveal that it does make sense and i will say it does make sense i mean it was telegraphed right from the beginning the moment she shows up you start to connect the dots and go okay so she's the power broker right but it's the way that it was presented where interviews following that episode, she was saying along with other people, well, why don't you wait and see who the power broker is? Maybe it's not who you think it is. And I think that built up some of those expectations, but it was easily telegraphed and it was there and they were just trying to keep the mystery there. So I get it. But she does say that if you really look at the story they were going for, what she says, what her character has been through, what her character means to the MCU and the story they're telling, the character she's connected to, what the power broker was doing, that it all makes sense that it's Sharon. And having watched the series again since it ended, it's all there. I don't have a complaint about it, I just thought it was underwhelming like many people, and you know, that's, well, that's due to all the theories, fan speculation, and what we want it to be, which is always part of, you know, um, the fandom, right? Which, I can't blame them for that. But, it is one of those things where, it could also be something that, if they see enough disappointment, people are still very disappointed with it. They could go, oh, you think she was the power broker, but guess what? The person on the phone was the real power broker. So they still got an out, which they could go to. But for now, yes, she's the power broker. They're going to stick with that. It makes sense in terms of the story and what they were saying. So it works. And it's not like Marvel Comics hasn't had multiple power brokers either. So, you know, um... There's always a chance it could not be her inevitably or eventually. 